Hey guys, uh, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a watermark for your YouTube videos. Um, watermark, sort of border, corner, put your name on the video, whatever. Basically, it stops other people just downloading them, ripping them off of you, and sticking it straight on their YouTube because it's got your name in the corner. So anyone watching it, you know, sort of notices that, wait a second, they didn't actually make this video, and hopefully uh, they'll tell you about it and you can get it taken down. Uh, program I'm going to be using is Adobe Fireworks, I'm using CS4. Uh, links are in the description if you want to download stuff and whatever. Uh, so I'm going to click New Fireworks Document. I'm going to click on Canvas Color to be transparent. That's very important. And depending on your render settings, I'm assuming you're going to use the standard render settings for Sony Vegas, which I'm going to put in as 1280 by 720. I think they're already in there anyway. And the resolution you want 72 pixels per inch. And the top two are pixels as well. So once that's all done, click OK. Voila. Right, this is um let's change the scaling. There we go. Right, this this is what you're rendering out of Sony Vegas, this is the exact size that you're rendering. So what you want to do here is make some sort of border um around this. Let's think what we can do. Let's just do That's gonna be really shit. But yeah anyway. Okay, so it's sort of filled. Uh, let's manipulate it round a bit. Put it there. Do spend a little bit more time on this than uh, I is, but I does want to get it just shown quickly. And of course, if you've got more skills with fireworks or or your Photoshop or whatever you want to use, uh, go ahead and customize it to your liking. Okay, I'm going to change the color from solid to gradient, linear. I like linear. And change it to a sort of so like blue. Oh, that's not too bad. How's that looking? There we go. Okay, that doesn't look too shabby. Um, okay, so once you've got your little box in there or whatever. You want to type in some text, I guess. To you. Let's just center that shit. Up the size. Change the color. Filter. Let's just add a shadow. Drop shadow. And up the size a bit more. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. Um, what else? Just you know, mess around with it to your liking. But I would advise, or uh, I'd suggest putting a drop shadow on some of them, because I do think it looks better with a drop shadow. Um, I don't know. It just sort of gives it a bit more depth. If you like, looks like it's just placed at the top. I don't know. I think it looks cool. Um, actually, I think I'm going to try and stick my avatar in there as well. Let's have a look. Stick him there. Move him to behind everything. Yeah. Okay, that's a fail. There we go. And I give him a shadow as well. Drop shadow. Not too bad. Okay. Um. So there you go. Once you're done, just go ahead and click save, and put it in desktop as um test. Oops. Test. And you want to save it as PNG. It's the default one for Firefox. Uh, Firefox. It's the default one for fireworks. Uh, PNG, not. Uh, what's the other one? JPEG. Then go ahead and load up Sony Vegas. Go, you see, you've got your file, file there. And let's just get some media in here. Okay, voila. Uh, then you want to go and find your desktop. And what did I just call it? I called it YouTube test.png. Drag it in there, put it in a new timeline. And you want to drag the timeline right the way up to the top so it's on top of everything else. And there you go. Go ahead and extend it over. There you go, see? You got uh got your border over your um video and everyone knows it's your work, everyone know you made it. So yep, that's pretty much it. 
Uh, you can right click properties and uncheck maintain aspect ratio that makes you makes it able for you to like move it around or whatever and assuming that you've got the wrong uh, size on fireworks if you render it it shouldn't matter it should just fit to the size that you render it at so that's basically it um, do leave a comment on what videos you would like I'm thinking about doing tutorials so give us some ideas for some tutorials and that's about it see you next time thanks